What is going on, y'all? It is Far Gas here. Hopefully, you're having a great, wonderful day out there in the wasteland. Friends, our voice sounds so much heckin' better, and we just got done doing a play session on the PTS server for Fallout 76. So sit back, enjoy the video, and I think you're going to love the changes coming to this video game. Ellis updated everybody on the BGS Discord today to let us know that the double mutated events are not coming out in patch 43. This is just a sneak preview for a future patch, but they also gave us the possible double mutated event combos. Oh my Lanta, this is going to be so much fun. Plus, oh my gosh, one violent night is coming back. Oh, this is going to be insane. Now, one of the first things I like to check out when I get into the PTS is to see if there were any changes to the settings. That's how we found out in the last PTS that we were going to be able to turn off screen shake. But my friends, there are no changes to the settings, at least at this moment and time. And here's a look at some of the double mutated events that we were able to jump into while playing on the PTS server today. And remember, there may be differences from the coverage you see on the PTS from myself and other creators, because at the end of the day, it is BGS's determination on whether they want to put something into the live server or not. And maybe they've got a little surprise in that they're not even showing us. Huge shout out to my good friend Wiggle Plays. If you don't know who he is, make sure to check him out. Link to him will be in the description below. With everything going on in my screen, I did not notice that we got 70 script. And we were talking a little bit back and forth while playing together today on the PTS server. And with everything going on on my screen, I didn't even notice that we got 70 script from doing a double mutated event. I was really hopeful that we would get a double from 35 to 70. But think about it. Five double mutated events, that's 350 script, that's seven modules, this is amazing y'all. And while opening up our double mutated party packs, my lanta, that's going to be a mouthful if we have to say it a lot. Can we, can, we, can we shorten it down to like DMPP? You down with DMPP? Yeah, you know me. Okay, look, I'm, I'm, I'm 35 years old. It, I kind of dated myself with that reference right there. But it seems that there's just a better chance with these double mutated party packs got to slow it down a little bit uh but like it just seems like there's a better chance to get the rare plans and legendaries and stuff the scrap and stuff seems about the same with the stem packs and everything but this lended itself into something that i wasn't expecting i don't know if anybody else was expecting as you can see right there on the screen uh, we pulled a junkies weapon and it says the percentage per addiction up to the certain amount that's right y'all you now have the junkies Prefix, bloodied, aristocrats, you have all that fixed to where it is more understandable to the everyday normal player that doesn't need or doesn't want to go out and research everything like, oh, what's the max caps that I need for aristocrats? Is it 25,000? Is it 29,000? And stuff like that. But it's all the stars. It's absolutely amazing. I mean, everything like movement speed while aiming now actually has a percentage. And another great change that I didn't think anybody saw coming was the UI change for the daily and weekly challenges. This looks absolutely stunning. It looks so much better than it did. Great, great job, y'all. This looks phenomenal. And a huge quality of life improvement that I think everyone is going to love, especially those with a keyboard. I don't know how this is going to work for y'all with a controller, but this is like the save everything mod that the PC players have had access to for such a long time where you're able to type in how many items you want to sell to a vendor or how many items you want to sell at your player vendor and how much you want to charge for said item at your player vendor. And, it, and you can see we're just typing in numbers. Uh, at this point, it's just like do, 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 do. And it, it won't let you go over 40,000 uh, unless they up the cap limit, right? Like maybe that'll be a thing. But y'all, I would like to report that the ammo bug is still there where it does work for depositing ammo but at this point in time right now on the pts it still will take your ammo that you deposit and then it'll go right back up to the top so hopefully they get that fixed it's a minor inconvenience right now but it, it is definitely an inconvenience nonetheless and while you're over there answering giuseppe's riddle for the day make sure to check out the new items they put in there for the union power armor for those folks who did not finish season 10 of the scoreboard, I feel so bad for y'all with the amount of stamps that those items cost. And hopefully BGS listens to everybody and puts those items into the loot pool for the expeditions. Please, BGS, please. And something I think every Barry Mintat poppin' vault dweller is going to love out there in the wasteland is the effect is back. So hopefully in this next patch, they push it out and we'll have our shroud back over enemies. 
And as it stands right now, with a Pip-Boy, you're not able to type out the amount of things you want to drop from your inventory. You still have to use the scroll wheel or your keys. Y'all let me know what you think about the coverage of this PTS and what you're excited for with it. I'd love to thank our channel members, Afrugan, Just Jake, Herb Cross, Yanko, Blood, Sebastian, Nova, Prophet, Dreamy Houdini, Bankai, Super Loki, Sweet Tea, Scotty, Thomas, Zach, D-Mobster, Bay, CRM, Lady Evil, Jesse, The Memes, Jack, Commander Falcon, Blaze, Mataz, and iGoat. Thank y'all so much for supporting us through this journey on the wasteland. Y'all have a great and wonderful day. Peace y'all.